My name is Nell Stark, and I'm here to tell you that it gets better. Uh, when I was in high school, which is now a while ago, um, I was not out. I didn't even know that I was a lesbian. Um, it took me a while. It took me until I got to college to figure that out. But um, I, was, I was smart, and I was a dork. And I felt totally marginalized by both of those things. I didn't have very good friends. People made fun of me for using big words. I just, I wanted to get out of there so bad and find a place where people would love me for who I was instead of poking fun at me. And nothing really bad ever happened to me. It was just, you know, I just felt out of place and out of sorts. And I got really lucky and I was able to go to a great school. And, uh, and at college, I found people, friends, who made me feel wonderful. They, they became uh, a kind of a family away from my immediate family. And uh, for the first time in my life, I felt like it was okay to be who I was. And then, I discovered that who I was was a little bit different from what I had thought and what my parents had thought. And I fell in love with my best friend. And, uh, and she and I were together for many years. And our friends at college helped me through that process. They did everything in order to make sure that I was loved, that I was cared for. Um, my family reacted very badly when I came out. They, um, they were very angry because they're deeply religious people and they saw me being gay as an affront to God. Uh, and I think they still do, even though um, it does get better. And so, so my friends were instrumental in helping me to realize that even though my parents uh, were lashing out against me, even though they were very angry at me, they were saying all kinds of hurtful things, to me, um, I was still loved, and I was still appreciated for, for who I was and who I am. Um, and going home from college was always hard. It was, it was always a struggle. It was often very, uh, you know, anxiety producing. I felt scared. Uh, I felt uncertain. And my friends would tell me things like, if we don't hear from you in 24 hours, we're coming down there to get you, you know, and they would, they would just, they made it very, very clear that, that they were going to bat for me against my own family, my own biological family, if they had to. Um, and so, so that's the first thing I want you to know is that you get to choose your family. You get to. You know, you're, you're born into something and, and that's fine, that's important too. But you can choose a family who loves you for who you are. Um, and that is one of the most important things that anyone can do, whether they're gay or straight or somewhere in between, uh, you can choose your family. And that is what helps life get better when you're confronted by any kind of struggle. Um, and, you know, then I also want to tell you that it gets better with your family. If your family is aligned against you, many people said that it will just take time. And I didn't really believe them. Um, the way that my family was behaving made me think that there was nothing that I could do or that, or that they would uh, do in their lives that would make them ever change their mind about who I was and that I was a miserable sinner going straight to hell. Um, but about nine years after I came out to them, they began slowly to change their tune. And that's pretty much where we're at now. I'm, uh, it's ten years since I've come out. Um, and they are, they are very slowly starting to accept uh, that, I think they're starting to accept that this is not going to change, right? That, that this is not a phase, this is who I am, and that if they want to see me, if they want to be a part of my life, if they want to know the details of my life, they need to accept that. Um, for different people, it takes different amounts of time, and I'll be honest, some people their families never get there. But that's why it's important to choose your family. And you can do that. And, and so, you know, even though it may not get better with your biological family, um, you have ways, you have power, you have um, things that you can do in order to 
to um, make your life rich and emotionally fulfilling and to surround yourself with people who love you. Um, and so that, that, is, that is the bottom line, that, that despite feeling helpless, you're, you're not. Or, or that even if you, you, think, you think that you are now, it will, it will get better. Um, every baby step that you can take in a direction toward people who love you is a place where you can regain your self-confidence, your power, and, and it will get better. Um, now I write lesbian fiction and I'm having a great time. It's a, it's a wonderful family that I've found in that world of fellow authors and writing itself is very cathartic. Uh, that has helped my life get better. Um, and so, you know, if, if you do anything like that, if you have a way of expressing yourself, then, then pour everything you are into that because, you know, um, telling our stories is another way uh, that we enrich our own lives and the lives of, of countless others. Um, so that is what I want you to know. And, you know, there's a lot of darkness out there. There's a lot of confusion out there. But find the people who will love you for who you are because they exist. You are not alone. And it will get better. Thanks.